There's the ice cream boat as well. Have you seen that? It's like a tiny no. little, tiny little engine boat, and he's got a huge Mr. Whippy like ice cream on the front of it, like the outside of the fi- seaside. And he drives around and he does Mr. Whippies outside. The- Welcome back to the channel for another walking video. A, a plethora of walking videos now after a little hiatus for last lockdown. It's a great one today for two reasons. One, because I'm in Norwich, which is the greatest city in the world. And two, because I'm with this excellent human being, Helen Anderson. Hello there. And her doggies. Here we are, Helen. Thank you for coming for a walk with me. Oh no, absolute pleasure. Thank you for asking. I love a walk. Normally on these, I say to people, do you do a lot of walking? But I know you do. I do. Because do. I've seen it on your social medias. Mm-hmm. You, you've got a walking club, haven't you? Yeah, well, it's a little gang of us. We, we haven't walked in a while because we've completed our mission, but we... Um... Like secret agents? <laughs> yeah. We did the Norfolk coastline. Um, started last year. And we, the, hello darling, we, we, started, we started last year, um, started in Hunstanton and we were doing like stints or like intervals of the Norfolk coast. And we were aiming to do like one a month, but then, you know, we got a bit busy over the summer holidays with like personal stuff. So we, you know, put it on pause for a bit and then we actually completed it in lockdown this year. So how do you do it? Because if you go to one place, mm. if you drive to one place and then you go around then you're miles away from your car or yeah. you're looping back in yourself so so we started off driving to the start point walking and then getting the bus back but because we because the timetable's quite you know up in north norfolk your timetable's not as so we were pressed for time so it was almost like oh we're rushing to get the bus so then we decided to, to drive to the finish point and Good. then bu- bus to the front and it gives you more time to yeah. have a pint at the end of it as well yeah, that's the, yeah that's, that's the downside with the driving element of it. Yeah. You can only have, well, that's the best bit of a pint. You only really have a pint or ooh, so, isn't it? The post hike pint is probably the best pint you'll have. It's just. It's up there with the post skiing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know. And, and I, me and some friends, well, me and my friend Al, a couple of years ago, had an idea. We thought, why? We, we, we took some cans of beer with us when we were out walking. Because mm-hmm. we were thinking, like, we're always waiting to get to a pub, why don't you take some beers? This is, and we think, why has no one thought about yeah. this? And we tried it, we took it, it was all great, we're going, but it wasn't as good. No, it wasn't. Because when you get to the pub, it's not as good. No, that point. exactly. It's almost like you you finally arrived at that inn, the inn which is just going to provide the refreshments. Yeah. And it's that cold pint in a, in a glass. Hello, needy dog. You're all right on the floor. Sorry. It's good, no, it's She's exciting just, having dogs. Yeah. yeah. She's just, um, it's because I'm sat down. Um... Yeah, and then we just, we did the last stint that we did. <laughs> Dog friends. The last stint that we did, we did walk there and back because it wasn't as far. Or well, the guy that organised all the walks said it wasn't as far, but they ended up being 19 miles in total there and back. Wow. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. So once you know you've so you completed, how many walks in total was it to complete the Norfolk oh, coast? Oh lord! Uh, hang on, let me just do a quick little. Uh, I think it was roughly about five. Okay. No, hang on. Let me just. Hunstanton to. I thought you were going to say at twenty. So that's much better. I thought. Mm, we did take about roughly ten to fifteen miles a time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say around five, six. I'd, it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great fun. It allowed me to see so much of the coast, and also it's nice to be able to go back and do like stretches that I liked the most. Yeah. You know. What was the highlight? If someone had to do one walk in on the Norfolk coast, then they had one weekend to do it, one day to do it. Okay. What would you recommend? What would be your dream Norfolk coast walk? My favourite stint, which I redid the other week, was. Brancaster to Wells. Lovely. It's quite a long one. Yeah, it is. It's one yeah. of the longer ones. But Wells is brilliant. Yes, well, there's such a variation of landscape. So you start off in like 
like little boat villages. Yep. So you see all the little boats and then you kind of go across sort of marshes and then you go through dunes and then a long stretch of big beach, then through the woods and then you're in wells. But because Brilliant. it's so different, it changes so frequently, you don't get bored. It's like playing a computer game, isn't it? When you can yeah. just wander between different, yes, different it, things it, in a way. But a real life computer it, game. Yeah. <laughs> because this is what real life really good. is. Yeah, that's brilliant. So now you've done that, is there any, is there an, what's the plan for the walking group? Are you retiring or are there mm. other walks that you want to do or other, other dream explorations? Well, we thought we were going to retire, well for now, but we've just been, we've just found out that they've extended the Norfolk coastline what? past Hunstanton inwards a bit more into the wash a bit, is it the wash? Past Hunstanton that way. So we're going to have to start from the new start point to Hunstanton. How do you mean they've extended the coastline? I, I don't know. We just heard it on like the Walker's bulletin board. Well, they've they've <laughs> built some more coast. Yeah. Is that possible? Well, they've extended the 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 the, 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 the official Norfolk ah, coast. Ah, right. Board. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So has Nor Norfolk got bigger? Must have. <laughs> wow. Why wasn't this bigger news? <laughs> yeah. Rightly so. I think more of the country should be Norfolk. Yes. Norfolk is my favourite place yes. in the country. It is brilliant. You love you love Norwich as well. You're like I'm, like I'm a big me. big fan. I have I have been lived in a few other places and I do travel around a lot, but I'll always come home. Love it here. What do you like about it? Because I find because I I know why I love Norwich. Mm. I'm always keen to hear why other people love Norwich. We've always because I talk so much about loving Norwich. Yes. People think I'm taking the mick right. because I'm so enthusiastic about it. But I'm genuine. I, when I say I think it's the best city in the country, people go, Oh yeah. No. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you really like it? Or you be, no, I go, I go. No, no. Genuinely, this is my genuine belief. Oh, I love that. Why do you like Norwich? I like Norwich. This can't influence your reasons okay. like Norwich. Oh, it Norwich. Won't. Okay, I want to hear yours as well. I like, um, for those reasons, I like the variety of countryside and uh, city. I think it's a beautiful place. There's lots of pubs, and I really like mm -hmm. pubs. Mm -hmm. um, I like all the surrounding the, the broads and, and all that sort of stuff around there. I like that you're close to the coast as well. I think the people are very nice. I think it's a nice, quiet, um, and clean place. I remember mm -hmm. when I used to come up from London and you go on the train, the air feels a bit cleaner. Yes. Um, because there's nowhere nearby, you get a lot of bands. Like when I was at uni, we had like Pulp and Stone Roses and Black Grape all would come through mm -hmm. because there's nowhere else competing. They're not, mm. No one's going to bungay. No, no. Play their gigs. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fet, well, I don't know, Fet for Forest now. But, um, but, um, but so, so there wasn't a lot of competition. Whereas if you're in Liverpool, a band might go to Manchester yes, instead and vice very versa. True. Sort of thing. So there's a lot. I think it's sort of fits in with my sort of political views as well a lot mm -hmm. of the thing the city and all that so I think it, I just it just it's just a nice place what yes. are your reasons for loving Norwich I like the history mm -hmm. I love that it's just sort of it's very very old and there's so many beautiful things to look at we walk down the street I'm, I look up and sometimes I'm always noticing things I've never seen before um, so yeah the architecture and the history I love how friendly everybody is yeah. I, I you know I think the Norfolk accent is just so uh, I mean, I, I like it because my grandparents were yeah. really super Norfolk, so it's very comforting. Uh, I'm with you on, there's a variety of pl things to do and places to, like the countryside, the beaches, everything is within an hour's drive. Yeah. You know, the furthest point away from here is about an hour away. So there's just so many lovely little places. And, you know, I, I really appreciate the kind of independent and uh, independent businesses and and the sort of community around that yeah. like everyone's really supportive of one another you know you've you've got like restaurants and pubs that all support one another yeah. I never feel like there's much rivalry or well, from from what I gather like yeah. it's all no, very supportive it's, 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 yeah and, and all the sort of there's so many lovely independent restaurants and shops mm -hmm. and places like that yeah. that are just brilliant it is and I don't know I just think you're right it's it's not near anything else so you almost feel like it's your own little gem you know, you go yeah. home and you're it's quite smug that you get to come home to such a nice place. Yeah, I can imagine. If I lived in Norwich, I'd be smug. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fantastic. You've recently been as well to another one of my favourite places. One of the few cities in the world, I think, that can come close to competing with Norwich. Mm -hmm. Vancouver. Vancouver. The Norwich of British Columbia, they call it. <laughs> yeah. um, what, um, what, what did you, was that your first trip there? Because I used to live um, there, so, I'm, I, oh, I, yes. I, I, so I, I, I love the place. What did you I, think of it? My, one of my oldest friends from high school moved there, and um, she moved out there with her partner who... <coughs> can you please stop with this? 
She moved, he, he works on uh, high-rise buildings in downtown Vancouver. Oh, wow. He's from Norwich. He's a Norwich yeah. lad. Um, she she went out there and got a student uh, visa and was doing studying. But yeah, I went out there the first time to visit. Um, and that was the beginning of like a West Coast California road trip I did. So I went to Vancouver first, went there for a few days, then flew to San Francisco and started driving down yeah. the West Coast there. But then last year I went and I spent a little bit longer in Vancouver and did a, a Canadian road trip. Yeah. So, you know, went to Whistler, Jasper and Banff and yeah, drove around over two weeks and it was really, really great. Um, I was going to go for New Year this year. Were well, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, because my, well, my partner is a big snowboarder and he's done like the Alps and stuff, whatever. And I've never, I've never done it, but my friend Emma is now a snowboarder yeah. and her and her partner, they always go and um, I said, shall we go for New Year for Whistler. a week? Uh, well, to Vancouver, to Vancouver and then just, Whistler, just yeah. see where we end yeah. up. But can't, so. It's a shame. It is a shame, because I'd, 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 like, I'd like to have gotten the habit of going every year if I could to see yeah. Emma, because she's one of my best friends. 2024, I'm yes. planning a trip to Vancouver and Whistler, mm -hmm. come along at the same time. Yes. Fun, which is an open invite to everyone. Okay, um, okay. Because it'd be the 25 year anniversary when I live there. Oh, really? So we're going to go back. I went for 20 oh. years last year um, and we're going to do do that then. So we, Amazing. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant place. Did you go, did you do the craft beer area, sort of the Brewery Creek sort of area when you went to Vancouver? I went all? to I went to a place called Craft, which was like, a, it, it looked like a big, big barn. And that was like a craft beer. It had, the menu was ridiculous. And they did like poutine and stuff. Yeah, it's but such great. Places. My favourite beer, which I discovered, which I discovered in Vancouver, has got the best name, and it's called Odin's Intergalactic Space Dragon. That's great. IPA. I think it's around seven percent. Nice. Very cloudy. It's lovely. Lovely, yeah. Yeah. Great all that. Um, I've started brewing my own beer. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got about, I've got in the car. I've got a couple of bottles for you as a present. Really? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's, what, it's amazing. What kind of beer is it? One of them's an IPA, one of them's a porter. Okay. Um, uh, I find it amazing that you can make your own beer. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing you can do in your kitchen. No. I think you need a factory or something. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, like I get that. I get that it's just these ingredients, but like I know that crisps are just potatoes, but I can make crisps. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I can make those in my kitchen. So how come I, I can make beer? Um, and nice bit. I thought I'd make it and it would be drinkable but disgusting. Okay. But it's not. It's great. Yeah, that's good. I, I mean, I, I've got a, um, I've got a brew dog beer kit at home with Elvis with the juice. That's what I started with. Oh, really? Yeah, and oh. it's lovely. It works oh. out beautifully. Yeah, do it. I'm going to give that a go. I was thinking of doing it for Christmas, so I've only, I haven't got long to do it, have I? No. No, that's right. So, yeah, do it. It's, um... You, yeah, you need four weeks pretty much for oh. the new year. What a new year. Okay, fair. So two weeks fermenting and then two weeks in a bottle to condition. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's just... The Beautiful, just, isn't it? Just flying across. God. A little steam coming off. I should say it's oh. not raining. It might look like it's raining. It's, no, it's... It's ice melting from the trees above. Yeah. Winter. Winter. <laughs> Winter stuff. Have yeah. you done any any boating on this particular broad or not anything on, like that or anything Not like this? on this one, but I t one of my favourite activities in the summer is getting a boat out at Roxham <sighs> and then and no. doing Day a boat or a, or a sleepy on one? A date. Oh, uh, just, well, you know, the one with the little Thank you. petrol yeah. boat. Yeah. <laughs> <Is that done? laughs> well, the day boat is the ones that you don't sleep on. Oh, yeah. No, I don't sleep yeah. on it. Oh, I'd like to do a cruise. It's brilliant. Boat life looks so fun. Boat life is brilliant. Don't buy the boat. That's the no. lesson in life. Never buy the boat. Rent the boat. Rent the bed. Rent, rent, rent the, the boat. boat, yeah. But I've done quite a few Norfolk Broad trips, starting yes. when I was at uni, and they're brilliant. Yeah. Because it's just basically a pub crawl. There doesn't seem to be any laws. No, I mean, like, there are about drinking. Like, <laughs> like you, you, you've got to be in control of it, but there's not like, you don't get breathalyzed no. on the boat. The amount of snag dudes that do that, they yeah. go out and they go crazy. What, one of my, what I've done this a couple of times, right, I get a boat at Roxham, drive to Coltershall, it takes about an hour and a bit, yeah. have a beer and a fish finger sandwich yep. because the, house, the Rising Sun pub does a... Yep. And then you boat back again. That's it's great. a nice after, afternoon activity. Yeah. I recommend it. Yeah, I love, I love all, all of this. But if, when you're on it, we did, we, like a week would be a long time. But to do like a long weekend. Yeah, that'd be real. Just travelling around. I've done during like World Cups as well. You just go to the pub and watch the football and then carry on. It's basically a pub crawl on water. Yeah. Yeah. Have which you is seen, safe. There's the ice cream boat as well. Have you seen that? It's like a tiny, no. little, tiny little engine boat. And he's got a huge Mr. Whippy like ice cream. 
cream on the front of it, like the, the outside of the fi- seaside. And he drives around and he does Mr. Whippies outside the world. <laughs> people, people ask me, oh, Robbie, why are you so into Norfolk? <laughs> and that, that is why I'm into Norfolk, because there's an ice cream boat. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Why do you just, it just pops around the bras, Yeah, he just, he just chugs around. Oh, ice cream boat! That's amazing. Yeah. Never seen that. <laughs> I remember when there's a the ferry inn, I think it is, which might be at Horning, perhaps. Yes. I remember there you can moor on either side of the um, of the river, mm-hmm. and if you put to get to the pub, a man will take you across on his little ferry boat, like a little, oh, little boat, so you yes. can drink there. At the end of the night, you go, I wish to go back to my boat, <laughs> and he will ferry you across the road on his little boat to get back to your boat. That's so good. And then we had one with a sunroof thing, and my friend Mark, we had a few drinks there. The, the girls had all gone back early. And they'd like lit candles on the roof. It was all really nice. And we all came back drunk from the pub after the man took us back. And the sunroof just sort of pulled back. My friend Mark was just walking across the top of the boat and then just walked, oh. not knowing it was open, and oh, fell no. through this. But it was like on a cartoon where someone's like walking, but they're on in the air. <laughs> it wasn't like he sort of tripped and stumbled. He just sort of kept, I mean, he suddenly just went and smashed the table. Everyone went really quiet. He just went, Oh, that hurt. We got a case of That's fine. <laughs> Luckily, there's a table, At least yeah. he was drunk, though. Yeah, that's some of the pain cures cures a lot of a lot of these things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Should we carry on walking. Yeah. Okay. Let's get around. Oh, I'm untangled. Let's go. Oh gosh. I think you're brilliant, Helen. Thank I really you. Like, I really like you, and I really like your videos. And I know I'm not the demographic for them. No, but that's probably, very kind of you. To but say I really that. enjoy them, and I think you're the only YouTuber that my wife watches. Oh, really? I think, pretty much, yeah. Oh, bless her. That's so. Apart nice. from me, she watches a bit of mine as well sometimes. <laughs> yeah. More to find out what's been going on. Um, how would you describe your channel if people haven't seen it? It's a mix, um, mix of stuff, isn't it? It's a. It's and I'll a, tell you how I describe it after you've done yours. I feel like it's, hang on, I'm, 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 I'm anticipating a, maybe a bark. You're going to ruin my flow if you do, do, do. Oh no, we're all right for the moment. Right. Um, so, I would say, I, I kind of don't like describing it because I feel, okay, so I do, a, I, I, here we go. I know it's an annoying question, oh. but yeah, but what, what do you say is, is rather than, I know it's hard to, I do, I would say it's um, mostly lifestyle and personal style. Like it's it's about kind of having a bit of fun. It's to do, like fashion and beauty stuff, but most of it is to do with co- like being yourself and being confident, I would say. But then I do, a, I, do, I do document my life. I do some travel stuff, I do some vlogging. But I, when it comes down to it, I feel like what my, my aim is is just to. Whoa! What was that? I don't know. Was that God approving of your channel? <laughs> was that God endorsing your YouTube? I hope so. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's just being like just being really real and being really kind of honest and relatable. Yeah. You know, like people that might be a bit. Uh, who, who, who wants someone to, like a big sister I suppose yeah in, in a that. way you know and, and I talk about a lot of stuff like there's a train that has been to sharing me is it yeah I bet it is Yarmouth or Yarmouth that is the line yeah I love a train yeah um, yeah I don't know I, I, I don't take myself too seriously and I like people to be able to just relax have a laugh relate and hopefully inform at the same time because I don't take myself too seriously. No. And Good. I think that's yeah. it. I say, I say, um, when I'm just going to show you, I say, brilliant. Um, it's lots of lifestyle and sort of, um, there's, there's sort of beauty and fashion stuff, but, but the cool beauty and fashion oh, stuff. Do you fashion. know what I mean? Because it's, 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 <laughs> alternatives are weird, but not, not yeah. necessarily, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's you being you. Yes. Sort of thing. And it's, it's not, it's not That's a, what I'd say. I, I don't like to use alternative because it makes me yeah, die. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Side. Yeah, yeah, but I know. But it is, it isn't, I don't read fashion mags. I'm not fashion conscious. I just do me. It's fashion and beauty, but in a different way to the only ways I yes. take on yeah. and beauty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think it's because I, I've never deemed myself as, I, I never used to read mags. I never used to be that bothered. But, <laughs> Oh, oh, hello, sausage. Oh, sausage dog eating you. I think Diane fancies it. Hello. It's exciting. Hello. Oh, 
Diane's desperate to say hello. Yeah, they're very keen. Hi. Kisses. <laughs> She's really pulling. I think she must. Oh, bless. She found it. <laughs> exciting, him. wasn't it? Yeah, wow. Wow. Um, what was I saying? Uh, we were talking. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I never, I, I never sought out to do this kind of stuff. And it was very much like I uploaded one video of me dyeing my hair and then it, it, I don't know how, but it just snowballed from there really. And because I, I didn't know what I was doing, I just sort of documented my, what people asked me for really. Yeah. So it never, I never see myself as an expert in any of the fields that I talk about. I just do me, so. Why do you think that, um... Uh, fashion beauty sort of stuff is has become so big on YouTube and, stuff like that. and, and, and why, why is it so because I've got my theories on my, my theory of a lot of this is that a lot of the fashion magazines and stuff will, or, or beauty magazines that with skincare products and things will never say anything negative about no. things because the, the next page is an advert for that yes. product yeah, it, sort of thing and it feels like people then can turn to sort of influencer type people I for think, a better word. I think influencers word. will talk about things that they actually genuinely think are good and they will say when something's not great um, and but with magazines I feel you know PR people will send out samples and you know ask people to write about them for them I think that beauty and fashion online has become so popular because it's honest it's relatable and it's true and it's accessible you know I, I think when I, I mean certainly when I used to look at magazines it was always oh gosh it, was, it, it felt pretty unobtainable because it was so polished and so yeah uh, and I think the beauty of the online world now is people just being super honest and you know rel relatable I mean at least they did when I was started and I've continued that a lot, a lot of people who have grown to great success have now become less relatable and more What's the word when you when you aspire to be like something? aspirational? Aspirational. I don't think I'll ever be like. That. I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Big day aspirations. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. No. I, I. I. agree with that. Completely. Yeah. 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 You were very nice when I started my YouTube channel. You're very supportive. I was so up for it. I was really happy that you yeah. started because you're funny. It's weird that I never thought to do it. Were like you? even when I met you and Jack and that, I never thought. I think what it was was I. I thought. Well, I know what it was. Is that I thought YouTube was for younger people, mm -hmm. and I thought, and I, the only time I ever used YouTube, apart from I'd watch your Jack videos, I met you, but beyond that, I'd only ever go on there if I needed to find out how to do something. Yeah, that's I, it. That's I why get, I don't really watch it. But, yeah, but I, I didn't get that there were oh, because you. you know you're fun. But I didn't get that there were channels and things for whatever you're into. Yeah, you know what I mean, like if you're into like. <laughs> Cameron is that. <laughs> oh a Lord. Show for it. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Do you know what? There is a channel for everything because over lockdown I was considering getting guinea pigs. <laughs> and I watched loads of videos on how to house train your guinea pigs, how to have the perfect guinea pig house, how to bring your guinea pigs home and get them settled. And I fell into a guinea pig hole, basically. What's the weirdest sort of topic of thing on YouTube you've ever got into? Like the thing that you've really got down a oh, rabbit hole or whatever oh. of. Oh, I used to love watching plain point of view videos where you sit in the cockpit. Wow. And uh, that was super fun. And also um, plain reviews. They were so mundane, but like it'd just be like a bald guy going, I'm flying to Japan on this non stop flight. I'm going to review the whole trip. And it was just fascinating. That's amazing. Oh, I'll tell you one thing that yeah. I got into over lockdown was Bardcore. What's that? So Bardcore is is music, it's covers of music, like contemporary songs, but in the style of Bard. So it's like okay. mandolins like, and yeah, like, you know. Lutes. That's it. It's Brilliant. so great. I like Sometimes that. Like, you might even go as far as to sing it, but with thou, Lord, shall not, they'll change the lyrics. Yeah, that's great. There was one for Jolene is my favourite. I'm going to look that up. You should. I will. I got into, um, when I was playing my trip to America early in the year, I got into RV point of view videos. There's like RV channels where they'll drive between Ooh, towns. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's just a camera set up on the dashboard and mm -hmm. you're just driving through American roads 
That's through great. canyons and stuff like that. And there'd be bits where they don't talk for like half an hour. And then you're just here having a chat with his wife about something and then just carry on. Brilliant. That is good. They're really good to watch. I'll yeah. check that one out. Another train coming. Where do you reckon it's off to? Oh, hang on. It'll say on the front, so I'm going to cheat. Don't spoil it. Hang okay. Uh, I think that's going to go to... Oh, that might be a Yarmouth one. Am I right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. It says Great Yarmouth. Great I'll Yarmouth. Try. See? What a fun game. Really good game. Very Quite scenic slow. route, isn't it, for a train to go along by the river? It is. Trains are great. They are brilliant. Have you ever been to the... This is like the second one of these walks that's come up. Have you been to the um, Railway Museum in York? Yes! I used to live up north, so my grandparents would always take us there. I've never been, but I've seen it from the train and always wanted to go. It's one great. One of my dreams. Is it great? Well... I mean, I mean, as an adult, I would probably really appreciate it. But when I was younger, my granddad always used to insist on going. So me and my grandma would sit in a train carriage, just like, can we get here? <laughs> I used to go to Glasgow uh, Transport Museum loads with my grandparents. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you like trains so much? I think, I, do you know what? Again, I, I, you just hit this point where you find history really fascinating you're just like why is this so cool i think it is the, the history of a train like how they they built these tracks i don't know why is it but, but you can go anywhere on a train i did interrailing so i went all over europe and that was great i just think i think you do that this next summer just, are you gonna with the kids you should definitely do it if you yeah. need any tips yeah hit I do. me up I, will. I loved it i just find trains cool i, I, I don't know why just they're magic. They're they are magic. magic. I love to do one of those, like rocky Ooh. trains. That's my dream. That's my dream train. That or mm. Express. Mm -hmm. Dream trains. Yeah. You know, um, you know the train that goes through Canada. It's got a glass roof. Yeah. Because I, when we were in Jasper, I saw that train a few times. Yeah, that's what I'm after. I looked at how much that costs. It's a lot of money. Train. A lot of money. God. Yeah. But I bet it's beautiful because that's it. One thing that I. <laughs> Realised when I was in Canada, freight trains are amazing. They're not going to leave this so long. I know, five like, kilometres long yeah. some freight trains are. Yeah, and you get a <laughs> level crossing and you think, all <laughs> oh, right, I'll just, stop. I'll just wait. And it takes them so long to stop. Yeah. They do say something, they just, yeah, they're unreal. They are. We were, we were like multiple engines, don't they? Yep. To get them going. It was, I was waiting at the crossing and we waited there for about 15 minutes for it to go by and we were looking in there and I could see cars in it. Like brand new cars, yeah. it's amazing. And the and the and the, the train tracks that go through the mountains, they're just carved, just big enough to fit the train through. Yeah, it's great. And do you know, the other thing I love about um, uh, Canadian logistics mm -hmm. is all the logging. When you fly into Vancouver and you see over sort of yeah. the, um, Georgia Strait and all that sort of all around there, you see the um, all the logs. Just, they just leave floating in the river and just yeah. float them down, <laughs> moving like that. It's brilliant. It is cool. A lot of trust there. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to nick some logs. Yeah. yeah. What happened here, would it? They'd be gone in an no. hour. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> a stroll. Ugh. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. before we do, mm -hmm. I've just remembered. Okay. Ooh. We popped off, we, we popped into the, um, into the uh, cafe at this place here. Yes. And while I got coffees, I also got us. Oh my gosh. Mince pies. <gasps> Do you like a mince pie? I would love a mince Have pie. A mince pie. Thank you. Oh my god, look at that, girls. That is a proper mince look at pie. That. Mm. Good that, innit? Cool, yeah. You've got, got having this. Oh, really good. Oh my god. That just hits it right in the Christmas, doesn't it? What's your favourite Christmas type food stuff? Mm. Um, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I love a cherry chocolate orange. Mm -hmm. But. I'm going to have to say, I've really got into cheese boards in the last two years. Have you? Not I don't like me. stinky cheese. I no. just like the idea of cheese and crackers and stuff. Oh, and the leftover sandwich. Yep, that's good. And and Christmas pudding? Uh, yeah, I think as I've got older, I've appreciated it more. Mm. But I also just love drinking Prosecco at 8am. Mm. You know, like a mimosa or whatever, Bucks Fizz, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, mm. I like that. It becomes a little bit, in my house, 
a little bit about the last days of the Roman Empire <laughs> and these, these endless drinking of fizzy wine at any hour of the day. I love How it. about you? What's your favourite? Food stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, food stuff you don't get any other time. I mean, Terry chocolate orange is the, is the mm -hmm. best chocolate mm -hmm. of, of all chocolates. But I don't consider that to be a just a Christmas thing. No. I know it's given then, but yes, I don't see why it should be limited. Um, mm -hmm. Christmas pudding, I think, is really good. Mm -hmm. What do you make of turkey as a meat? Uh, we're not having it this year. No. What Sorry, I talk with my whilst so I eat. That's fine. I'm, I'm bad habit. Um, dry. Though, hang on. I was watching Food Network the other day mm -hmm. for a good six hours and I watched a lady cook a turkey American style mm -hmm. and it was great like it looked just really juicy and yeah. she did it in like a broth um, but no we're having lamb this year because mm. I thought well it's just me and my partner um, oh and my mum's coming now but I don't want turkey so I'm not going to have it it's have just lamb. like a big rubbish chicken isn't it it is it's just a bit dry and a bit disappointing if turkey was good, mm. we wouldn't just eat it once a year. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 I love turkey. Like, I think people probably bought turkeys because they had a lot of people around and it was bigger than a chicken. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't, if you don't need to cater for loads of people, no. just get a chicken. Get Having a chicken. said that, I'm going to get a turkey. Cause... We're getting um, a lamb guard, it's called, with a pesto nut. Oh, it's okay. mm. Yeah. Fine. I'm a bit nervous about cooking the roast though. I cried the other day because I messed up the roast dinner and I thought, I can't do this. Christmas is ruined. What are you worried about? Why, why, why do you think it'll go wrong? Um, Timings. Yeah, I'm just worried that I'm I'm worried that the, the roast potatoes are going to be disappointing. Though I have got the Hairy Bikers Pie book and they do have a roast potato recipe in there. So I'll watch that. I, I consider that. myself a bit of an expert in roast dinners. Okay. Spreadsheet first of all, oh. Christmas Day, mm -hmm. five or ten minute intervals, just do a big long thing, mm -hmm. and work back. Mm -hmm. So work out and work out what's in the oven at what time as well. Okay. Limited oven space. So have a time you're going to serve, mm -hmm. when you're going to take out what for the oven, and then you can look through it. Mm -hmm. Go okay. Leave you get a little bit of flexibility, but you can go okay. So we don't need to put the. You've got the turkey and the potatoes in for a bit, then you can take the turkey out because that needs to rest or whatever meat to rest for a bit. Yes. That's when you can put in the. Pigs in blanket, wherever else you've you've got going in. This is good. This is great. That's a key thing. Potatoes, slightly more than parboil. Give them a little shake, and you got to make sure the oil is really hot when you put it in. I think that's my key advice for that. Okay. How do you feel about goose fat? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Goose or duck fat? Yeah. Okay. I use those. Yeah. All on all on board for that. I'm just a bit terrified by it. I don't know. How come? I don't know. I just um. I've always sort of cheated with my Christmas dinner because I always got everything from m and mm. and popped it in the oven. But I've only half m and it this year, so I'm doing the other half. <laughs> Fine. No one's judging. Sorry, Helen, we've come to the end of our walk. Have you had a nice time? I've had a lovely time. It's been beautiful. That mince pie was delicious. We had a lovely chat. And it's been a, it's just a gorgeous day today. I've got a thermos flask of coffee in my bag as well, but you're still nursing the one well, from the start of the day. Well, it's cold now, but it's, it's all right. I, I like it cold too. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Well, thank you very much for, um, for walking. If you haven't seen it, Helen's channel, go and check it out. It's thank excellent. You. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks Wonderful. for having me. A pleasure. And thank you for bringing, being the first one to bring doggies on yes. the walk. Yes. <laughs> excellent. Brilliant. Back with another walk, walk next week. Can't speak. Must be the mince pie. <laughs>